Hey guys, thought I'd do a review of this uh, SOL Thermal Bivy and I I want to differentiate this from the uh, lighter version. They have a um, an emergency uh, bivy and this one is the uh, Thermal Bivy. It used to be called Thermal Bivy too. So uh, this one's a little bit larger. Um, I'd say this is about three inch diameter. Um, comes in this little sack. Uh, let me open this up and show it to you. So this is pretty lightweight, pretty compact uh, package here. And I just kind of repackaged this. This used to be kind of on the outside. And, Figured I'd just keep this in here for the time being. Um, they say that it is 8.9 ounces, um, that it is windproof and waterproof. Um, it doesn't let the moisture out. Um, there are some versions of this, uh, the more expensive version, that actually will uh, breathe. Uh, this is not that one. Uh, this one's kind of the medium uh, weight or medium quality. Um, supposedly reflects 80% of your body heat. So that's kind of a, a, a decent statistic there if you're going to be using this for emergency use. Uh, you could also use this kind of thing in conjunction with uh, maybe a wool blanket or whatever else you may be using kind of as a layer. Uh, it says two ply durability, but I don't uh, get to that in a second. But I don't think it's entirely uh, super durable. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're saying you could use it as an ultralight warm weather sleep system. Uh, you might check out Wall Two Rock Climbers videos. He did a pretty decent video of this, uh, wherein he used it uh, overnight. Um, some of the other things they're saying here: tapered design. Uh, nylon stuff sack um, and this is uh, Adventure Medical Kits is the name of the company um, and SOL stands for Survive Outdoors Longer so you'll either see SOL or Adventure Medical Kits um, Adventure Medical Kits being the actual brand of this so anyway um, it kinda folds up very nicely in a, in a decent uh, small package um, the material itself uh, is Velcroed, and I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. The material is pretty rugged. It's pretty durable. Um, it's not going to tear, uh, wherein a Mylar space blanket uh, would tear, and you'd probably have issues um, once you had a tear, it would keep going. Uh, this is two-ply. The way it's constructed, if you had a tear in this, it's not going to keep moving. Uh, so that's good. Um, let me reposition this camera here and I'm going to unroll this a little bit and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about here. So it unrolls to I believe 80 yeah the dimensions of this are 84 inches by 36 inches so uh, for taller people it's it's fairly decent. Let me unroll this all the way and then I'll widen this camera out a little bit. So as you can see, it rolls out pretty decent here. And it is tapered. So the way this works is one edge and the top has Velcro so that you can keep it cinched up and then the other side over there is solid so it's only gonna open up on one side of the top so if I can widen this out a little bit more you'll see it kinda opens up like so and that's kinda the the length of it it's pretty decent uh, it does keep you pretty warm. I got inside of it outdoors and it's pretty 
pretty snug in there. Um, have not tested it in any kind of a cold weather environment, but we'll uh, maybe do another video on that. But so far, the thing I wanted to point out here is I'm going to have to move this camera in a little tighter. On, let's see if it's this one. I got two of these. On the other one, what I did was I was opening it from the top and I was kind of pulling the two layers apart and with not a lot of pressure this just ripped. Now this one is okay. This is not the one that I ripped it. But if you buy one of these you might want to, you know, be cautious around this little seam juncture because uh, I had mine rip on me and you know it's funny because I uh, should have learned Wall 2 Rock Climbers video uh, I believe he mentioned that very thing so I'm not too concerned about it because it's a it's it's just a weakness in that joint there which I can reinforce with duct tape um, or a grommet or or some other such thing but um, I'm not too concerned about it because the rest of this is pretty good um, it's like 30 bucks uh, 29 30 bucks so I mean you might argue that it should be more durable than that for 30 bucks but I will say that you know the fabric itself is very durable and it's only that one little area that that gave me any problems so now let me take this and see if I can't get this rolled back up in a timely manner for you here I'll show you how this goes back together So I'm going to start at the opposite end so that any air kind of forces its way up and out. Um, like I said, it doesn't breathe, but since there are seams in it, it's not going to be airtight either. I don't know what model it is, what they're calling the other one, that is a little bit more um, sturdy than this one. But that one is breathable. This one is not. Let me make sure I'm in the camera here. And we'll just go ahead and fold this up. I'm not going to make it too tight here at the start. Since that uh, sack is fairly, fairly accommodating to this thing. So there we go. I'll put that back in here. And if you were going to take this in a pack, you could probably get rid of that and lose some weight. But I'm putting it in there for the time being. So there you go. It folds up pretty tight, pretty quick. And, um,. There it is, the SOL Adventure Medical Kits Thermal Bivy. Um, kind of looks like a, a tinfoil wrapper. Um, my wife kind of made the joke that it looked like I was a burrito <laughs> wrapped up inside that thing. Um, anyway, pretty decent piece of gear. Uh, it could be better, but for the money... Um, you know, they probably could have made that seam a little bit sturdier. Uh, yeah, I say the seam, but it's really just that one little juncture of the seam. Uh, nowhere else did it really look like it was going to fail. But, again, this is pretty new, so, you know, check back in a year and see what what it looks like. Um, I'd argue that it's a pretty decent uh, bit of gear. Um, make up your own mind, and check out Wall 2 Rock Climber's video. He actually does a pretty decent video of uh, using it overnight. So, thanks. Take care.